I am standing on Blandford Forum Railway Station. Correction, I wish I was standing on Blandford Railway Station. We start our look at Blandford by seeing the biggest mistake that affected hundreds of towns in Great Britain. It was called the Beecham's Axe. The result was the closure of branch lines like Blandford in the 1960s. I was a uh, driver at Eastleigh and they, albeit they were taking up the S&D then, like at Shillingstone and all that, and they were loading it on wagons and sort of gradually um, heading south, taking it up. And that was quite a sad day, really. I had to go to Blanford with a Crompton and um, pick up a load of rails and stuff that they loaded up, you know, and take it up to Eastleigh. That was the last time I ever went up on the S&M. Keith Sloper captures the atmosphere. Rolling those stations up would come the signalman and have a yarn about his onions or his potatoes and, you know, sort of talk about a bit of gardening, you know. It was uh, incredible over there. It was more of a family than not... You know, born with, I think we were a family in lots of ways. But over there, I think it was a real family, you know. And, uh, but you get down through Sturminster and all along there, Sturminster, you you follow the river down, like, you know, it's always a sort of a, sort of a pleasant sort of area, you know, so you kind of think they're paying us to do this, you know. register like it would do now. Uh, you just took it in your stride, I suppose. But um, if it happened now, well, then you you sort of worry a little bit. But in those days, being young and silly, I suppose, you, uh, you didn't think it much about it. Not as a fireman, anyway.
Railway Hotel is the only reminder of the station that used to be. Except for the station house and the footbridge. It's hard to imagine that there used to be railway tracks here. This is the view of the other side of the footbridge and Blanford Station before 1966. And this is the view from the same spot now. From railway station to station court, residential area.